Well, in Dauphin County, Paxtang Borough has issued a cease and desist letter to its former fire company, threatening to arrest any firefighters who respond to emergencies. Fox 43's Robert Stover spent the day in Paxtang and jo joins us now to share what he learned. Robert. Alyssa, in August 2023, the Paxting Borough Council ended an agreement with Paxting Fire Company No. 1 as its official fire protection unit. The borough alleges the fire company has operated independently with no government authorization since and is now seeking to eject the company from its municipal building. I think that it's important that we try to be good neighbors. Volunteers with Paxton Fire Company No. 1 received this letter on Wednesday from the Paxton Borough, part of an ongoing lawsuit. The letter claims the borough would pursue legal action if the fire company does not stop responding to emergencies. For Fire Police Captain and President Gavin Ford, this could mean facing a $5,000 fine or up to two years in jail. It's it's uh, very upsetting. Um, our Our fire company you know, is here to protect the public and put out fires. And, you know, we have to deal with the politic aspect of uh, things. And politics should have no business in public safety. In a statement to Fox 43, the borough says, quote, it is not fair for the taxpayers of Paxton Borough to continue financially supporting the use of free building space and utilities for their former fire service who no longer serves Paxton Borough, end quote. But Ford said it was the fire company that was in the building before the borough. They're trying to kick us out of the building that the fire company um, gave to the borough, the, the portion of the property for a dollar um, back in the 1930s for the purposes of housing the fire company and to uh, build a municipal building. Jeffrey Enders, Director of Public Safety for Dauphin County, says he will continue to call upon the fire company until otherwise directed. Meanwhile, some residents hope to see the matter mutually resolved. I'm appreciative of, you know, the service that firefighters give to our community, and, and I hope that whatever happens, you know, here in, in Pakistan, that there are enough firefighters on duty, you know, when we have an emergency. And Ford says the company has no intention of moving and will continue responding to emergencies, adding he hopes the company is awarded the chance to stay in the building. The lawsuit will be argued in court in May 2025. Alyssa. And of course, Robert, we saw you spoke with a resident there in Paxtang, but what do local leaders in the area think of all this? Alyssa, I reached out to Representative Dave Matson's office. He responded in part, quote, Township residents can be assured that fire and emergency medical services remain fully prepared and ready to serve, end quote. And we'll have his full response on fox43.com. In studio, Robert Stover, Fox 43 News. All right, Robert, thanks so much.